If you're experiencing low back, hip, knee, shoulder, or other type of musculoskeletal pain, whether it's acute, subacute, or chronic, I'd like to tell you about a therapeutic modality that I've been doing some research on lately, pulsed EMF, or pulsed electromagnetic field therapy. Like red light therapy, pulsed EMF is one of the few modalities that I tend to recommend to patients. It's got significant medical research to support its use in reducing pain and enhancing tissue regeneration. When you have an opportunity to avoid invasive medical procedures to treat your pain or other disease condition, I say go for it. I'm a big advocate of natural or non-invasive procedures and the use of safe, proven, home use therapeutic equipment like pulse DMF or red light therapy. In the 1960s, medical researchers discovered that if you subject a fractured bone to a low energy magnetic field, it will heal faster. Research indicates that a magnetic field influences the cell membrane. The cell membrane allows micronutrients, oxygen molecules, and water to enter the cell, and it allows carbon dioxide, water, and other metabolic byproducts to exit the cell. So when there's an injury, when there's inflammation, when there's mechanical damage to tissues, then if you could affect the permeability of the cell membranes, it may have an effect on the healing rate. If you could increase the nutrient delivery into those cells so that they can transcript the proteins that are needed for regeneration, that could be the mechanism for healing. Another thing that happens when you, whenever you have an injury or inflammation is that the red blood cells, the tiny little red blood cells, have a tendency to stick together in stacks resembling a roll of coins. This is called rouleau formation. When that happens, it makes the blood more viscous and it's more difficult for those red blood cells to make it to the capillaries to drop off the nutrients and oxygen to the cells. Well, it turns out that pulsed EMF has an ability to break apart those rouleau formations, making the blood more viscous so they can enter the cell and deliver those nutrients. And a third benefit of pulsed EMF that was discovered by accident is that it can help with sleeping. People who used pulsed EMF to treat uh, pain discovered that they slept better. OMI is one of several companies that manufacture pulsed EMF devices that are FDA cleared to be used at home. They are safe to set up, safe to use, which is why you don't need a doctor to get one. There are two types you could get. The first one is the OMI pulsed EMF ring. It resembles a, a small MRI machine. What you do is you stick the body part through it and it gets exposed to that electromagnetic field. So this is good for smaller areas like your, your foot, your knee, uh, you could even stick your leg in it and pull it all the way up to your hip and work your hip joint or stick your arm through it and have that electromagnetic field energize your shoulder joint to stimulate that cartilage and get it to heal faster. The other one is the pulsed EMF mat. It's a larger mat that you set down on the floor and you could lay down on top of it and it's good for uh, sleeping and treating larger areas like, like your lower back. The beauty of pulsed EMF is that it's non-invasive and it's safe. You can't get injured by it. Now, it's not recommended if you have a pacemaker or a spinal cord stimulator or other type of embedded, implanted medical device in your body. You can get creative and use an infrared lamp for 20 minutes on, on your area of pain before you do the P pulsed EMF. And what that infrared lamp will do is put deep heat into the joint, vasodilate, get the blood moving, get the circulation going, and then you could apply that pulsed EMF to push in those nutrients. In summary, if you're experiencing any type of musculoskeletal pain, have tried numerous things, but the pain still persists, you may want to try pulsed EMF. It might be that one thing that could take you over the edge and get you the relief that you seek. Till next time, it's Dr. Perez. Talk to you soon.